I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Move! It's night time at the station. Don't worry. I told I, you. I got it! I got it! Open up! Go! Here comes Spartans. Uh, looks like Artyom's been on another one of these mad trips up top. Poor kid. He hey, hey, Duke, many wait a minute. At Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. 
Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please. Promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? <coughs> it's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture thread. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What I left the order, the and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our show, that's exactly why we're all there. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave you us a scare, scare brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give this way! This calls for a celebration! Artyom! A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother? Welcome back, Artyom! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed! I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. Well, you guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyon? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limits zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I had to scare a 
demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop! The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high! Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there! Shit! Come up now! I got you! Did you hear that, Artyom? Something large, roaring. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! <gasps> what the... Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! Hey, 
You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Yo, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. Damned watchmen broke through. Oh, the shoot. workers are done this for. This is just your weapon trained on the open. Account. If anything comes through, shoot.
should send a group there to seal the exit. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Animals. How can they? What can I do? A mutant? A watchman! A human? But, uh, how did you... Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Oh, Yarma, you threw your bout of conscience? Hey, the hell is happening? The fucking breaker again. Move crouched. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Get started with the engine maker. You can't follow me. Take that ladder instead. Yerma, what's taking you so long? Well, as soon as got untied, I'm coming now. Hey. Simon Mikhailovich, yeah, there's a failure yeah. at the generators. You should see it. What? Yeah, it I thought we need you here? to tell me what I should do. Mm. Better fix this right line now. here. Everything is unmovable. You'll have to take it down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Wait! Turn that light off! Let's go! Oh, come on, man. Don't bet on me. Get to work. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Go! 
go through. Come on. Hey! What is it? There's dirt this the system air supplies air right for the command center. It's to? not that large, actually. No Wait for and the moment and go through. It's sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All unoperated Who are you? I'm dying of the engineer back. The train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to the I'll get you out of here. They know me. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! 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 I see the enemy. <laughs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Hey, who's over there? Hostile! Hey, over there!
flashlight on either. They could notice. Artyom, incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Let's go check the back door, just in case. So, what do you think that was? Did that bitch actually stop some shit? No idea, really. Maybe she had help. Them spies, they still keep looking for us. And Bob Hag and a fucking team? Those were some mighty spies there, my friend. You sure? And then they just walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh, yeah. Agent Egg reporting. Naturally, they're pretending to be... Oh, I see the enemy! Wait, I see him! There he is! Flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Let's go check the back door, just in case. So, what do you think it was? Smoke here. Did she actually stop some shit? If I have no idea, really. Maybe she had help. Them spies, they still keep looking for us. And old head in a fucking team? This was some mighty spies there, my friend. You yeah, sure? And then they just walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh yeah! Agent Egg reporting! Naturally they're pretending to be civilians. You rookies all think you know everything after a week of service. Hey! The enemy's on the Walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh yeah! Agent Egg reporting! Naturally they're pretending to be civilians. You rookies all think you know everything after a week of service. Yeah, yeah, I don't know shit, I know. This place looks clear. Good. Still, we should stay alert. Oh, freezing to death here. Got the shivers. <laughs> now we can survive the cold. Something else gives me the shivery dog. Tell me, why are we here? Why? I guess to guard the back door. Exactly. And how are we supposed to guard it with this garbage? Well, our good guns are gathering dust back home. What if they aren't gathering dust? I think our military is preparing a full-out assault against Reich or the Reds. So they need all the good guns for frontline duty. 
And since we're safe here, they gave us what was left. That's all. Well, I said Shadow. Where the hell is he? He's behind us! Ah, shit! Shit! hit anything. It's not even worth trying to zero in. It's all crooked and worn out. Ah, now you're just whining. You don't need accuracy to shoot cops by at point-blank range. Huh, yeah, but how about a watchman trying to snap? Did anyone check the generator? Who shifted it now? Why well, check them anyway? In the scope, you can see them clearly from a tower. They spin if there's wind, or don't if there's none. What's the point in actually going there? Don't give me that, Grigori. The enemy strikes where you don't expect. It's an alert, after all. That's true, I guess. Do you remember the time they have a short of the second station? The Northwest wasn't covered for days, and you could hear signals <laughs> from the outside. That means they could hear us, too. They were lucky to fix yourself. <laughs> so what were those signals about? <laughs> what could you hear before Jamming came back? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Waiting for us to mess up. Ah, uh, well, enough of that. Hey, what's that over there? Nothing again. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack! The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory! Visual! The enemy! All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately! Covering you! Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice! We can break through! Attention! The jamming system is coming back online! We're inside. You 
Just me, or is there something at that crate? Stop! Visual! The enemy behind the crates! to fear here is just one man. Go down with Eric and check the ravine. Yes, sir. Artyom, they got your neck. We have to get closer. Oh, if you get closer, I'll distract them while you rescue your men. And they'll protect ourselves, much less be of any use. Artyom, try going down that ladder ahead. Just be careful. Is somebody guarding the airman? Yes, sir. Mika is watching him. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. If I may have permission to speak, 
This Yermak is one shady cat. What is he doing at the crane? It's only setting off tomorrow. We'll find out. First, we handle the attackers, and then we take that talking to him. Ah, oh, that's great. He's been acting way. Group A, report to your static. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the jungle. Group B, report to your situation. Over. Group B, they noticed you covering. Down there, that's what he was hiding. Something. See, down there. I can't hide. What do I have to fear here? He's just one man. something down there. Let's find him and be done with it, everyone! You better come out now! I see him! What is this fuck?! and check your ravine. Yes, sir. Artyom, they got your neck. We have to get closer. If you get closer, I'll distract them while you rescue the old man. Artyom, try going down that ladder ahead. Just be careful. Is somebody guarding Yermak? Yes, sir. Mika is watching him. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. Captain, sir, if I may have permission to speak, this Yermak huh? is one shady character. What the f- I see the enemy! He's dead! Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already, and I feel like shit. I should see them. Generator room. Uh -huh. No need to play heroes for a change. 
Let's wait till they walk off. When will I wonder? Get us all killed and save on wages? Why can't you just stay still, Use your lock. We're on high alert. Civilians aren't allowed to just walk around now. Now, does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only had an outing plan for tomorrow, and it's bound to be cancelled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tiam. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! I see the boss! I see him! There he is! In the press! We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! I see the bastard! We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! I see the enemy! Artyom, 
we're running out of time. Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard Atiyan. to drive. But there's just a little this together. For the engineer. Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare give something? me limp, soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What Anna. the hell? What you? Guys, what are you doing here? Talk about sir. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line down. Oh, shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, them. I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? 
Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead! All of them, women, children! I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this misunderstanding. It's not my call, and you know it. Well, the I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The border leaves no one behind. It's it's not 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 him. Who? All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Uh? If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said shit! Yeah. Shit! Then yeah. Yeah. Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, we are stopping. Uh, but I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yermak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally some good sense. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic explosion. Is that you, Yako? Yeah, so we've got the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just go up and fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. But the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? The paint plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! get to this. You don't know? Some assholes stole an engine of ours and are trying to escape Moscow. <laughs> I hate 
give up, I give up! Just don't kill.
Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. Hmm, so... They were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom say, took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back... Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if... Wait a moment, what was that? Restoration Committee speaking from the Ark Project Base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still... Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 79 right. Area 18-5. Where was that Repeat. number to... Proceed to the rally point. Rally God. point location is code So it is somewhere around here. The Yamantar Mountain. So Area the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground, 
enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's call her on and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to yeah. Aurora. Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam yeah. ahead. Wow, that's yeah, some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. Watch him. Are you sure you're okay? Because I know you. <laughs> well, I'm... So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stonkin' otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you... Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers?
Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. It seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it, sir. Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. God Let's that, go, Artyom. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good I gotta guys. say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great! What was that? Could you check it out?
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. 
I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Our father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. And welcome! Take your Yes, 
The bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silencio has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. So, where is that heretic? She came by boat during the sermon. And then what? So he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. The man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of vanished. I see. All right. So, brothers, have you found the heretic? Not elsewhere. What the God. Satan himself is hiding him. Oh, oh, boy, I run. We have to find him, my children. I end up late for this. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you seen the heretic, sister? Of course I did, that heathen. <laughs> so you have seen him? We can't even look at them. Father Salanti has forewarned us about it. If you look at them, you will see technology. And that's a oh, such a problem that takes a hundred days of fasting oh, and three hundred days of prayer to embrace. So, did you see him or not? I don't get it. <sighs> Quit bothering me. What do you care if I saw him? There was a heretic in the church, but a sin. We need to pray it away, and you are distressing us. I, I'm sorry. We were just looking for him. <laughs>
Артем, over here! huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in the bog with a gun fire. Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya Thank right now. The information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. 
But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not Artyom, for you, we'd never have like escaped that place. They were so the busy man. looking for I've you. I've got something for and you. Anna picked us up. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. Yes, Uncle Tom. Thank you. And you How do you like the backpack? Great. Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie. Even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya. Where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Uh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Oh, huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes. Where did those things crawl out from, I wonder?
Amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. 
plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Now, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tarfish <laughs> live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made the war bridge to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow. I gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Well, 
much to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my...
And then I saw that huge thing. Like, real huge. It went straight for us. Clanging, shrieking, smoke everywhere. I only had time to say, Lord, save us. And it broke through. We were lucky we got away alive. Father said hitting her could make our marriage even stronger, but running my mouth like that was a grave sin. So he sent me fishing. With no gun. Ah, don't you worry, it's a quiet place. Nobody comes here, not even the mutants, really. The Tsarfish does feed here from time to time, but we... You damned heretic! You just killed an innocent soul! And for that you will burn in hell! But you can't scare a true believer no matter-
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. Thank <laughs> you. 
that we found her, Sam. Guys! <coughs> don't tell Dad. He's gonna... <coughs> Just don't bother him with this. <coughs> Anna, are you alright? What happened? I thought I had found their base. It seemed like there was an American flag on that antenna. <coughs> and then I fell down here. It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is easy.
either for storage or it's a dump. Short could have been put there by the locals. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Arturo, let's pick her up now. No way in hell. I can. I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. What is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Arjun, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get...
Nastyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us. Even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... We... We have to go back now, I guess. Hi, Artyom. Hey, Artyom, see how it all works out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will give it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten Sit alive. Up. Did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, breakdown? Are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? These apartments can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut. The next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. No, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the temple. We can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us off till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom, it's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich, no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not going to be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom. Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. 
with storage space for all my tools and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your TR. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Artyom, the workbench is at your service if you need it. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius.